Good day. In this video, we're going to look at the midpoint theorem and the converse of the midpoint theorem. The official midpoint theorem states the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half the length of the third side. Your abbreviation for that is usually just midpoint theorem or midpoint of two sides triangle joined. We're just going to write midpoint theorem. Now looking at a sketch, the midpoint theorem works on a triangle. If you get the midpoint of one side of the triangle and the midpoint of a second side of the triangle and you connect the midpoints, that line will be parallel to this line and that line will be half the length of this line. It doesn't matter what shape triangle you use, the rule stays the same. If you get the middle of the one side of one triangle, the middle of a second side of a triangle, and you connect the two middles, that line will be parallel to the third side, and that line will be half the length of the third side. You can actually see it by just looking at it, but you need to know the wording. When seeing a sketch like this, you will either write D is the midpoint of AB, or you will write AD is equal to DB, given. Then you will write either E is the midpoint of AC, or you will write AE is equal to EC, given. Now you write, then, DE is parallel to BC because of the midpoint theorem. And DE is half of BC. Your reason would also be the midpoint theorem. You will use one of these two, although both are true, all depending on the question. You can stop the video and just check that it, whatever I wrote here will also work on this triangle. Now we're going to discuss the converse of the midpoint theorem. Some people like to call it line through midpoint parallel to second side. We're just going to call it the converse midpoint theorem. This states the line segment drawn from the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to a second side bisects the third side. Then we can write this long story that I wrote up here, or we're just going to call it converse midpoint theorem, abbreviated. Looking at at the sketch, you can see it. Here we have a triangle again. If I get the midpoint of one side of the triangle, and I draw from there a line parallel to the second side, this will be bisected. Again, if I have a triangle, I get the midpoint of one side of a triangle, and I draw a line parallel to the second side, this line will bisect this side. That will mean AE is equal to EC. If we see a sketch like this, we will write D is the midpoint of AB, or we will write AD is equal to DB, given. Then we will write DE is parallel to BC, also given. Then we will write AE is equal to EC, and people, some people write E is the midpoint of AC, not frequently used. And DE is the half of BC. And your reason you have to write is converse midpoint theorem. Please stop the video and see that this writing also applies to this triangle. Now let's apply these two theorems on two problems. Here they gave us a triangle. They told us that P1 is X. I wrote it in for us. And they said B is 51 degrees. I wrote it in there. And they said solve for X giving reasons. You can see the midpoint theorem looking at us because they said that line is equal to that line and that line is equal to that line. So then we write in triangle ABC, that's full triangle, AP is equal to PB given. Then we write AT is equal to TC also given. Then we will write PT is parallel to BC because of the midpoint theorem. Then P1 is equal to angle B, corresponding angles, because PT is parallel to BC. So X is equal to 51 degrees. Stop the video and get your brain around this one. Here they gave us a second problem. They gave us a triangle. They said AB is equal to X. I wrote it on there for us. They said QR is equal to 18. I wrote it in for us. The heading says solve for X and give reasons. So we start by saying in triangle PQR, this full triangle, PA is equal to AQ, they indicated it there for us, given. 
you write AB is parallel to QR, they wrote it on there for us. Then we can write AB is the half of QR, converse midpoint theorem. So X is the half of 18, which is 9 centimeters. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two problems. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.